Next, you can set up the Soren Vanguard cardioplegia system. Let's take it out of the pack here. Just make sure you tighten these caps. Sometimes they do come loose. Take it over to the circuit. And this will slide onto the holder like this and lock it in place. And then once that's done, you want to set up the cardioplegia. So again, make note of how you are directing these tubing into your roller head. In time when you need to tear it down, you don't want to be caught in a, in a mess. So you kind of loop it here. So when you load the tubing, you want a smaller size tubing to be on top and the quarter inch, the other tubing to be on the bottom when you load it in. Again, trace the direction that you want it to go as you're doing this. Make sure there's the loader on correctly inside the, the boot as well. And now you can leave the spikes for the cardioplegia on the on the pumps itself. And this will be the inlet to the cardioplegia that comes out of the outlet of the of the arterial side of the oxygenator. And make sure again when you plug this in that you are going over everything so that you won't be in a mess when you tear it down. And this will go plug right in, in, in here to this port. And it's probably a good idea to keep these clamped for now as well. Okay, next you want to make sure, first of all, that the cardioplegia delivery line is going around uh, the, the holding there instead of going through. And also now is a good time to hook up the, the pressure dome for the cardioplegia as well as the relief, pressure relief valve line. So the pressure line will... the the, the pressure manifold can, can hook into here. You can feed it off this way. And this will get connected to the, the second line on the transducer, the second transducer, which is for cardioplegia. Just like that. And you can hook up the uh, the pressure relief line onto the port here on the cardioplegia itself, female end. And while you're here, it might be a good idea <coughs> to hook up the uh, the temp probe as well. Now you have the option whether to either to hook this line up to the the top of the cardiac uh, cardiac reservoir or leave it in a way that you can visualize it in case you overpressurize it.